Hello, and welcome to my, I think it's pronounced, Irakuts campaign for the New or Order, Last Days of Europe. Uh, we're going to start off by reading our country info. On December 30th, 1922, the Treaty on the Creation of the USSR established the Soviet Union. It was initially composed of the Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, and Transcaucasian republics. As of January 1st, 1962, due to technical difficulties, the Soviet Union only governs the Irakuts Oblast. Moscow fell to the Nazi invasion. General Secretary Nikolai Bukharin disappeared. The presidium of the Supreme Soviet quickly elected NKVD director Genrik Yogata as their provincial leader. The wise Yogata wasted no time in saving the presidium. In a daring escape, his NKVD motorized divisions managed to spirit the Soviet government away to the east across the old Siberian plant infrastructure to the city of Irkutsk. Upon arrival, the Presidium tried to reassert control over the old Union, but few believed the old Bukharin government was relevant in the new Russia. The government began to lose their grip to the Far East as... Scroll down a bit. The government began to lose their grip in the Far East as military strongmen, native Siberian reactionaries, and fascist collaborator Ares of Harbin carved out their own sides to the Far East for themselves. The latest blow to the Soviet state is the insurrection of Valery Sebdin in Buratia, formerly a loyal soldier Sebdin has been shown as true colors as a utopian left deviationist ultra seeking to make remake the Soviet Union in his naive imperial image. This decline is in the eyes of General Secretary Yagoda directly attributed to the incompetence of the Presidium. Their beloved Bukharin failed the Soviet Union and as toadies are repeating all of his mistakes, Yagoda has just been empowering his loyal NKVD ever since the evacuation. While previously a secret police service, the NKVD has assumed more and more functions of the Soviet state over time. Gota's detractors in the party, often referred to as the party faction, led by Sergei Benzov, alleged that Yagoda is maintaining the Soviet proletariat bureaucracy to replace it with an NKVD bureaucracy. That is true, and it's only because the NKVD are the last loyal force that can save the revolution from its enemies with the in and without. The Irkutsk er government is legitimate government of the Union of the Soviet Social Republics, even if no one seems to care. If Yagoda and the Presidium can overcome the Soviet mutiny and restore order across the Far East and beyond, then perhaps Soviet Russia will never return to the way it was. And we're starting off, actually, at war. So we're going to get these divisions. We'll go with you some good. We'll go ahead and get you a field marshal. Research slot, we'll go with some research and anything in industry. We'll get some re Work on building some civilian factories, even though we only have one, so we probably won't build anything. And we'll get... There's no way we have enough uh, military factories to build everything. But I think... That's as best as we can get. No divisions of basic training. Light infantry, infantry. We can't build any uh, artillery. That's probably our best bet. National focus, the response. Comrades, brothers and sisters, workers and peasants of the Eros Oblast, on behalf of the Soviet yeah, Presidium, we ask you to remain vigilant as the very existence of our Soviet motherland is at stake. Taking advantage of our weakness against the forces of Rodzvosky and Przenak, deserters and traitors under the leadership of Valery Sablin are attempting to organize an internal anti-Soviet insurgency, praising a dark and uneducated masses to his noble cause, and forcing, forcibly mobilizing and commit unspeakable crimes against the working people. In times of existential challenge to our beloved Union, we ask you not to succumb to provocations of the satellite kind of revolutionaries. Direct your efforts to fight the internal enemy. We warn you that the Soviet power will remain Shake a bolt in its merciless attitude against treason. Any person engaged in the anti-Soviet activities or involved in the encouraging or harboring insurgents will be held accountable and punished the most severe punishment. Start off with that, and let's see. What do we want to do with our division starting off? You can move there. You can probably start moving at least into there, and we'll see from there. Let's see. 
Have you move in. And you can just move down there for now. Legacy of the Union, the young child, carelessly wave. Sorry, the, cares, the young child carelessly wandered the rooms of the house as always, noticing even the tiniest details. After hours of exploration, he came across a small chest. Inside it, one found a grand collection of glamorous metals, frozen documents. The boy turned to his father and asked him what these were. Some old things from the days of glory, he said. One item caught his attention, though. A shiny red and gold metal. This is the order of linen, answered the father before the boy could open his mouth. Who is this linen? The child asked innocently. The NKVD guard prepared to take the official to the presidium looked at him. Could not help but smile. A great man, perhaps, if he was still alive. He wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Wars, death, and oppression of the masses. It could have all been avoided. You need to remember, son, that it is up to us to continue his legacy. Before you were born, the true government of the motherland fell to the invaders of Moscow. But remember the presidium. Saved it with the help of Comrade Yagoda and his friends and fled to Irkutsk. Why are all these awful things happening, then? Why can't we live a normal life? The story of how we got here is not a simple one, but you must learn it. First, the Germans came with their tanks and their bombs. They invaded the motherland and saved millions, ending Rikarin's rule. Then came the bourgeoisie, the intellectuals and the rich who fought us when we were in dire states and ended the chances of reclaiming the nation with the Siberian War. Next were the reactionaries. The Japanese puppets came from the west and said, The final blow were the visions. The satellite mutineers across the lake. We are the only ones left to continue the union. So these four calls all this? Yes, son. Yes, they did. And Comrade Yugoda will make sure they will pay for it. What? Let's go ahead and go there. I'm hundred percent sure where they're going, but uh, keep an eye on it. Get encircled. Actually, you, yeah, you keep going there. You chill here now. You go there. All right, first response. Let's see, here's the capital, political power, stability. I don't know what these do. In the trenches, support. Those guns. Let's go for the guns. In the trenches. The soldiers of the Union has endured the unimaginable, and we must ask them to endure more. They are a shield against the traitors and the partisans who seek to finish what the Germans started all those years ago. If the Union has survived. We have to do everything we can to support the men fighting on the front line in our cause, ensuring deliveries of food, equipment, and the weapons we reliably make it on time to soldiers who need them. We can make the hellish conditions of Siberian warfare slightly more bearable. We can cycle between front line and reserve duty, allowing them to recover and fight more efficiently when it is time to return to the battlefield. We cannot let our morale falter in the face of yet another threat. Putting down the traitors. In the past decade, there has been unrelenting disaster for true patriots of the motherland. Revolutionary morals, values paid for dearly in the tight streets of Leningrad and the long rails of Nobobrisk has not been sufficiently practiced or defended. The results have been cataclysmic. From bickering politicians who refused to act in the face of fascist bandit armies to the near collapse against the counter-revolutionary republicans in the 50s, much has been lost. Millions of lives have been sacrificed unwillingly by those who dared to neglect the lessons of the October Revolution. The Burate Sublinites are next in the long line of ideological rot. It is this rot that's clearly spread beyond control, as Valerie Sublin himself was once a promising NKVD commissaire. After being foolishly entrusted to organize labor in the construction of hydroelectric power near Lake Bacala, he would seize the radio tower to spew his utopian conventional revisionism. Goda and the loyal remnants of the Presidium Bira, a gargantuan weight upon their shoulders. Years of defeat have left the Union crippled, and its people susceptible to opportunists and liars. It is all too possible that this burgeoning rebel army will spiral out of control and spill doom for the last remnants of order and legitimacy in the Russian chaos. The scared peasants who tremble beneath Sabin's lies must be convinced to return to their senses, and the conniving men who lead them must be brought to a swift justice. You go, and you go. around like this. Whoa. Actually, we'll go for that for now. Oh, 
What's wrong with you? Belongs to an army, but has no orders assigned. We'll just have that ready. And an offensive front line in case we need it. An assassin strikes Hitler. We actually have a decision available. What all can we do? So it's just this one up here. Scavenge for loot. This loot gets us this, which can be spit on this stuff. Alright, sure. Scavenge for loot. What are we doing? So we have four soldiers. How many do they have? I guess I should say divisions, not soldiers. Sit. They're actually, so he's actually just sitting there camping the capital. Okay, makes sense. Actually, pause this. Let's get you. We're gonna capture this so it's a bit open. Then you're gonna go around and go towards that city. And then let's go around. Now let's just hope everyone else is just too busy dealing with stuff over here to notice. We have taken way more casualties though in the trenches. And let's get the gun. His guns, I guess I'd say. The Partisan's Rebellion must be quickly crushed. Without more zero hesitation, this effect, you go to his order. The Ministry of Defense to immediately shift the nation to a war, budding until the Eastern Rebellion has been fully stamped out. Certain areas of the economy will shift production to military materials, while others will continue to operate, but in a modified fashion. Military rations will be temporarily prioritized over the civilian food consumption, while several factories currently producing civilian goods will begin to be converted to weapon foundries. Another step the Ministry of Defense has taken is ordered to take place in the museum pieces. These antique weapons date back to before the Second World War, have until then been kept in sword. The Ministry will use these weapons for reserve units focusing on hunting partisans operating in our own territory. We will take it, because we have a deficit of guns right now. We are taking it. We are not going to have much org after we take this, but... That our name is Borman, his successor. Are you chill and get that organization up? Ministry of Defense. A division of World well, Spawn. Okay, the Union's Arkansas is the NKVD that. Let's get to Brasidium and escorted it to Iracus. Now we are forced to fight for survival once again. The NKVD will deliver us victory again. One of the most experienced soldiers in our nation are members of the NKVD Guard. Currently, these men are scattered in small groups across the country, serving as bodyguards, intelligence officers, and secret police. But they could be of greater use if we organize them to a full military division. This new NKVD motor rifle division will be the tip of the spear that will steer where the traders with. The ragtag bandits won't stand a chance against the discipline and resistance of the finest soldiers of the Soviet Union. Once we have defeated the partisans, a new division will be instrumental to our reclamation of Siberia and eventually all of Russia. Not like this, then this. Let's go around like this. No, 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 we'll let you walk away. Take you. You can walk towards there. Let's go with stability for now. The greatest weapon left in our arsenal is our intellect. Intelligence apparatus. When Russia factored, it was the agents of the NKVD who kept the Union alive and carved out a new home for the revolution in Irkutsk. 
The uh, operatives and spies of the Incavity are some of the most experienced in the world. The time has come to use them against Sylvian and the Gang of Traitors. Tear apart the upstart rebellion from within. The fragile new government across Lake Folly is a perfect target for infiltration and sabotage. It's run by inexperienced amateurs trying to figure out how to run a nation as they get or Agents will have no trouble infiltrating it by posing as traitors or double agents, and in many cases, they won't even need to hide their identities. Before long, the partisans will be in disarray with all our plans and secrets laid bare before us. And then that. Red airwaves. Across the Arcus, the brow depths, the jagged shores of Lake Macaulay, the people sit in the squalor of their sinking communal huts and listen to radios whose material relics from the half remembered days of glory within unified Russia existed in more than just the minds of men. Clustering together, they find themselves worn by more of each other's body as they lean in, better hear their crackling voices spilling in their homes, like the disemboweled voice of God. Fizzling and sparring, the voice calls itself Comrade Valerie Sevin. And it speaks to a better life. Your crisp peasants, long accustomed to the lives of Penary, as to listen to the voice with rapt attention to proclaim the virtue of the revolution sparked by the rebels. Right. Equal rights, opportunity for all, a resurgent Russia faithful to Marx on the new Russia where all men together could reap the rewards of the people's prosperity. The young men who were born into a shadow of Russia barely heard the rest of the speech as they sat there in the darkness with their eyes, not seeing the opinion as learned there is a better way to live. If only they act and join the revolution, though their elders shake their heads and frown, too scared and broken to believe in deliverance, the young of Irkutsk feel unfamiliar burning their hearts, like a flickering of flame along gas. For the first time, they feel a spoke, spark of hope. Alright, uh, new schools. Let's go with new schools. No, dang it, they've got to spend. Okay, they're down to five, and we're up to five, right? Oh, we escape, boys. Great escape. Actually, we don't even have to go back through there. This will, uh... Alright, cool. You go there. Black will be next. Let's get enough, uh, map military. Eric is the main economic industrial hub of Eastern Siberia. But we have been hurt by the rebellion. Long portions of our military industry and infrastructure have fallen under control of civilian bandits at a moment when we need them most. To make up for this, the director of construction will make some accommodation for a military factory space that would have otherwise gone to projects has been cleared for military production. An infrastructure project that have will benefit the military been accelerated while civilian construction have been postponed indefinitely. While we have recovered our stolen industry, we must get sorry, until we have recovered our stolen industry. You must get everything we have out of what remains. We have to keep our army supplied on the move, no matter the cost. Sorry, so we... So yes, we add infrastructure and add a military. It's cool. How close are you to capitulation? You're getting close. I don't think this will be enough, but we're moving in the right direction. We want the state to be in power, because we want to do like more of the NKVD uh, set. What do we want? Political power gain, secure control. I'm not sure. I don't want to do any of that yet. Persuade the party faction. I will leave it for now. With that guy just standing there, I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, we should. Oh! That actually did kill them. Okay, so Blin's in. 
Yagoda felt a cold flee from his body as his rage grew. It was pure rage, so diffuse in its targets that its potency overwhelmed his mind. He was angry at a great many things, a great many people. They made him especially furious. It was important that such rage was directed at this precise moment. It landed upon the guard to his right. A single stare leveled the man. The slope Proster rapidly corrected himself, and the insistent tapping of his foot ceased. That would do. His composure regained. Yagoda's eyes returned to the malnourished creature that set before him, the foolish boy who refused to break or even bend. Lazar man might be swayed by such display, but Yagoda was not impressed by traitors. He had seen too many. His hands clapped together on the table, and he stared into the wind's lower eyes. A tire of the spectacle, you have been offered a chance to repent your crimes and show the people the air in your ways and heal the union you fractured. Yagoda noticed a fire flash across the young man's face, and the same spark he had observed upon detainment. He eventually defiantly he remained defiantly silent. Maybe you perceived yourself as a brave man. I know better. Enough time has been wasted. There is much to be done beyond this petty revolt. If you wish for death, so be it. His hand rose from the table, and upon his motioning, Sabin was carried away. The new union would have no room for such foolish men. Utopian divisionists, squabbling politicians, would no longer be allowed to destroy the dream fought for so long ago. If the union was to reclaim life from the fascists, it would have to be stronger. This time, you would make sure so. Good riddance. Oh, that's not good. Interesting, we can do raids. New, okay, we actually have new focus tree, cool. Right. The people of the Soviet Union have done it. Comrades, the rebellious Sublunites have been utterly smashed and we emerge victorious from the battle in full glory. We have proven our strength once more and showing our neighbors that we will not go down without a fight. However, just because the battle has been finished does not mean that this is time for celebration. It's time for us to regroup and bring justice to the Sublunites. It is time for the Soviet Union to cut the final piece of the thread that our opposition dangles off of and to show the Sublunites that we, the people of the Union, Still remain vigilant and even in our most dire state. So, what happens when this gets out of. out of control? We have no loot, can integrate them. Yeah, sure, we'll go for the cores. All right. We still probably have like what? No, uh, selling factories. Yeah, just one. We had the loot, we could do uh, raids. I think that lets us go to war, my guess. Let's see, so we can rebuild our legitimacy. Union of letters. We can increase the state with an eternal affair. We'll do the eternal affair. And opportunity for forgiveness or zero tolerance. We'll go with opportunities for forgiveness. We want the state to be as strong as possible. Well, that guy's old. So if we look at our actual... Construction speed, what's killing it? High taxes, your draft, not changing, no power tolls, bad poverty rate, and bad stability. Alright, what do we want to do first? This purge all just seems bad. Uh, lessons from the mutiny, that's military stuff, I think. 
Or we build our legitimacy. All right, we'll rebuild our legitimacy. MSC. The great and powerful Soviet Union has been shattered, and we have all but disintegrated on the world stage. This is a catastrophe for every person within the Union. We've been torn apart by the inside ever since the German invasion of our Union, falling apart piece by piece until we have been diminished to our current state. But we will no longer. But we won't give up so easily. With such a setback, in order to accomplish our goals, government's legitimacy must be restored back to when we were truly recognized as the leaders of Russia. No matter the means that we are to take our post from the recognition of the Union, we must regain our spot among the great powers once more and return the people of Russia to their rightful place on the world stage. It won't be done till 83. That's great. Alright, but we can do some warlord investment. Get consumer goods down. That doesn't matter. And add some infrastructure. Critical campaign. With industrial investments. And while we're at it, spending KVD. We'll get a free rifle division. Factory output. Vision defense, that's nice. Expand labor. Decrease the monthly population and stability. Construction speed 25%. What that mean our overall growth will go down and be negative? Here, for now we'll increase the power of the state. Seems necessary for now. And we'll scavenge for loot. We do have some guns. That's good. All right. Civil War in Mongolia. Oh God, I'm really just. All right. Let's see. Research speed. Not enough manpower. Okay. Next thing we'll use is we'll prepare for a raid. Who do we want to raid? Siberian Black Army. No, you're stronger than us. People's Revolutionary Council. Stronger than us. I don't want to risk a war against someone we can't beat. You guys. Well then. We'll go next. The creation auto. You guys can go over here. Alright, rebuilding our legitimacy. The eternal affairs. The core part the core tenets of Linalism is that the Vanguard Party, the party shall protect the people from the capitalists, and help install class conscious. In order to achieve this goal, only the most educated and politically advanced citizens can run the higher functions of the state, not the average worker. To directly involve the people could risk unnecessary inefficiency at a critical time, especially as we reorganize the union. We must rely only on ourselves to reform the state and not the people, as we maintain our honest ideals and prevent needless corruption and with false consciences from ending the union. All right. All right, we'll prepare 
prepare for a raid. Let's hope it goes well. But we'll have to wait to see if that raid goes well until next time. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.